show me the news. And now, coming through your speakers and into your ears, it's the gaming podcast that you all know and love. It's show me the news. Welcome to Show Me Your News, the pinnacle for delivering and debating the gaming news that matters the most to you. Rumor filled gossip, hardware blunders, or upcoming releases. If it relates to video games, we want to talk about it. I am Yoko, and I'm taking a picture a day for this, the 25th year of my birth. One a day. I am Super, and I got Yoko totally jelly. I'm Tony, and I'm not going to reuse my old bit because we we fall started, and it wouldn't be real. So I'm just not going to do it. So jelly, so jelly. <laughs> Our I totally top... forgot it. So <laughs> yeah, right. Our top stories today for episode 128 of the podcast on Friday, February 15th, 2013. Sony announced the future of PlayStation for an event for an event on uh, February 20th. PS4, perhaps we think so. Also, there's another Nintendo Direct. We had one a couple weeks ago where we had Megami 33 on the show. It was a great Nintendo Direct. Well, now we have one for Valentine's Day. And it's for Wii U and 3DS games. And it's the year of Luigi. Also, some new next Xbox reported features that aren't so enticing. Also, the hilarity of the week. A 10-year-old's girlfriend hunt on the 3DS. We've got a story pool, some games that are out recently. A soapbox where we do some rants. And a thought on game crushes. Our guest this week, though, because it is the 128th episode, how could we not have our favorite Aussie on the podcast? Everyone, please welcome back to Show Me Your News, Mick128. Ahoy, ahoy. How are we all doing? We are doing wonderful. How are you? It's been a few years at least, like <laughs> at episode 38, right. maybe. I'll say. You know, how- back when we were only in two digits, now we're in the threes, which is getting a bit ridiculous. We just keep on rolling, being that much well, better. Well, you see, if you if you add the first two numbers of this episode, you get a three. Oh. And then it'd be thirty-eight. There you go. And... Oh, so it's really not that many at all. <laughs> oh yeah. God, you guys have been slacking then. Jeez. I know. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's just that's how we roll. That's how we do. No, seriously, how's life been for you? Yeah, it's good. Uni's still uh, still going. I'm starting primary teaching. Um, had a fair bit of work. Um, primary schools is an AA. Um, yeah, been keeping busy with other stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, any, anything you've been playing recently that you want to you know, let people know, kind of mark this in, you know, gaming, the the gaming um, lore of Mick? I've <laughs> <laughs> um, been playing a lot of uh, Dota 2 lately. Um, Tusker just came out last night, New Hero, and wow, he's mm. uh, damn fun. Um, been going through, started uh, Walking Dead the other day. That is, that's not what I was expecting. It's really good. Because, um... You guys play the old point-and-click adventure games? Uh, you know, time Not and time. Too much. Nope. You know, a lot of stuff was pretty ridiculous. Like, there was one you had to, like, get a light bulb, tie it together with some string, make a fishing rod out of it, and all these ridiculous <laughs> stuff that you need bizarre logic for. Mm. Um, Sounds like MacGyver. Ones, <laughs> there's one that's, like, the most ridiculous thing ever. You have to go and get a piece of paper, put glue on it or something, stick it onto a side of the wall... Scare a cat past it so it rubs hair off to get a fake mustache. It's like, what? <laughs> where's the logic? But so, this, then, you know, so then you sneeze know. because the guy's allergic to cat hair, and then that causes something to happen. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah. Really? This is this isn't as ridiculous as that. It makes sense. Um, a lot of the hard stuff actually, just the decisions you make. Like, you know, having to decide, who do I give food to? You know, the people who like me, the people who don't like me, the kids, the people who keep them watch. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Eat it myself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah, awesome. Unfortunately, there wasn't an option to eat do you all think the food. I got so fat? <laughs> what, are, what are you singing there? He's doing guru. Scary. Oh. Oh, he knew, he knew. Yes, 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 clearly. Well, we've yeah. got some big headlines today on Show Me Your News. The first of which being that Sony announces this future of PlayStation event for this coming Wednesday, February 20th. Uh, that's at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Going to be live streamed all over the web. So, hey, you know, in the morning over in Australia, <laughs> 13 hours mm. forward. Um, I mean, we're looking at probably PlayStation 4 here. Um, Tony, I've got to ask as a 
a fellow PlayStation fan, what what do you make of this? Uh, hard to say. My dog is going insane right now. Uh, so if you hear that, Hello, uh, man. everyone's saying. <laughs> everyone's excited. saying probably <laughs> she's excited for it. Uh, everyone's saying probably PS4, and I'm just expecting news on that. Probably I would hope some games, but I don't know. I feel like if anything, Infamous Three is due mm-hmm. because they they can't. They can't just be like we're making a console. Like that's usually what Microsoft does at E3. It's like look what look at all the stuff our thing does. I'm like, what game's coming out? Man, and I'm play, like, PlayStation still doesn't really have a mascot, does it? Not specifically, no. Are not we... like one. They do got a lot of games, but they don't have a Mario now. I think they'd like to try to make Sackboy that, but you know, mm. it's not entirely successful. That creepy. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> But I'm just expecting PS4 because everyone's saying that's what it's gonna mm-hmm. gonna be. This is how it works, and maybe hopefully a few games. Hopefully. Well, we, we got to get a name first of all. Uh, assuming that it is you know the next home console, I think we got to get a name. I think that's you know pretty necessary. Yes. You know, if three months before E3, like that's an important time to start to build up the hype and the media coverage, especially if Microsoft's gonna wait until E3. Like this is. Sony's time to shine, and if I think you know, there are certain things that they have to announce to have a successful conference, and you know, the name is definitely one of them. Um, you know, it's been operating under the code name Orbis for quite some time. Um, I don't know, do you guys expect that it'll be PlayStation Four though? I do. It'd be stupid if it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, just look at everything else they've done. They've got the PlayStation Vita, the PlayStation Portable, the PlayStation, well, whatever the thin one was. It's all been PlayStation, so I don't see that changing. Yeah, yeah, they'd be dumb to change that name specifically, but I don't see why they wouldn't just call it four. Yeah, I mean, well, they could call it PlayStation something else. I mean, they did they did with Vita, but I you know I think you're right. I think to have the success that you know Sony is still trying to come back from those heavy financial losses that you know were corporate wide, and I think to have a numbered system like that, uh, you know, kind of helps maintain the brand because you know PlayStation brand is still obviously very powerful, um, but to you know really get the successful sales and people would be hyped to talk about PS4 and I think if you name it something like see I would be okay with an Orbis name but I know at least the internet at large or at the very least the vocal minority would not be happy with that kind of name they they just want PS4 and I think it keeps it simple and you know not that confusing Nintendo keeps doing this with their DS's and confusing people just mm-hmm. like oh it's the 3DS and I still have people like when I had that second job, that would ask me, uh, <laughs> like, oh, does it play this or does this? And I'm just like, PS4 would be so much easier for just that market. So I think right. they should do it for that reason. Do you think that it'll be backwards compatible with three, PS3 games? In some way, I hope so. I, w- what I'm concerned about is, will I be able to take all the stuff I've downloaded, like all my like yeah. Final Fantasies and whatnot? Well, I mean, you got you got things so if like they're going to keep the same PlayStation Network account, which you'd hope they would, um, it would be logical. I bet you, I bet you, just because this seems to be how things do, uh, it'll be like six months after release. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Now they got they got to start fast. I mean, you Nintendo the, did that with the Virtual Console. They're like, oh, we're still doing it. <laughs> it's like, true. All right. But you also look at the PS3's launch, and that was that was pretty pathetic. And also oh, 599 yeah. US dollars. So, oh yeah. I mean, I don't think we'll <laughs> be expecting cost. to hear a price at all. I think you can save that kind of stuff for E3. Um, you know, price, release date. I would not be surprised to see a release window. Um, you know, say if it's holiday 2013. If you got it ready, you know, say it. Put it out there. Get the hype building. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing an actual price at all. There's got to be a hook, though. I mean... It can't just be a more souped-up machine that is higher performance and better graphics. What do you guys think the hook will be with this PlayStation? What will get people excited? Or will Sony just bomb on that and not show anything that will really draw that attention? Have you seen that uh, prototype PS4 controller? I have. What do you make of it? It's, uh, hmm. it's, it just seems like a situation where it's like they're just trying to copy Ends Game as much as they can into it, and they've got no idea what the hell they're doing with it. Mm-hmm. It looks. I mean, it. Yeah, it looks ugly. It is supposed to be a prototype or whatever, but the tiny little touch screen. That's that's not going to help anything. Mm-mm. Eh. 
I feel like situationally it it could, but yeah, I feel like this is just like a hardware developer. Like you know, when Nintendo does this, they have ideas behind it. Right. Like they'd make it, and third party would be like, "What do we do with this?" <laughs> I'm always kind of wary about uh, controllers with screens on them. Um, we use gamepad included because, and like, I've seen small screen things just give out randomly or like people throw controllers yeah <laughs> yeah the irrational ones do. just like and and screens are so easy to break so i look at this thing with this tiny little screen and it's I'm like that's supposed to be a touch screen and i just think about it i'm like someone's gonna throw this thing and it's gonna break and like there goes half your functionality your, your your supposed really big new functionality kind of thing. Yeah, and then if the controller is like eighty dollars, uh, yeah, that's the thing too. I hope there's just a Dual Shock option mm-hmm. for. They should know that people, their fan base wants the option. They don't want to have to do those things, right? Because they're well, annoyed with Nintendo and they'll go to them. I was just using a Dual Shock three like an hour ago, and. uh I still hate the design, but at least it's familiar and usable. Yeah. Once if it ain't broke, this, 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 this does not look comfortable. No. This it still looks better design. than the Batarang. <laughs> to the silver Batarang. Yeah, yeah, what happened to that thing? <laughs> I think one thing, though, that we're definitely not going to be seeing in the PS4 is Rumble, because that is just so last-gen. Interesting. Really? I, I, I unless you're being entirely sarcastic here. <laughs> That's what they said about the P- uh, Rumble, putting Rumble in PS3 was it was so oh, last gen. They right. Oh, they didn't at first, did they? <laughs> no, because right. no, I remember when uh, when my buddy got a PS4 and we were playing MGS4. Yeah, yeah we got a PS4. A PS4. Mantis. <laughs> Jeez. He's a time lord. Yeah. No, man. Yeah, Mantis was just like, oh, no Rumble, and he exploded. But then I played one with DualShock, and he's like, Rumble's back! And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Um, I mean, there's you know, the talk of maybe there's going to be you know, streaming games involved. Maybe that's how they do the backwards compatibility. Uh, there's been the rumors of maybe recording game footage. Um, nothing I've really seen so far has, has been that hook. So I'm hoping to be surprised. Um, but I mean, obviously, what is a console without games? And I would expect to see... You know, some game announcements, maybe some new, uh, you know, some sequels. Uh, what are some possible you know, games that you're hoping we see at this Sony uh, conference on Wednesday? Do you think Uncharted's about due as well? Because they, don't they have like two studios now? Well, yeah, not, Naughty Dog is making something else. Because, uh, you know, so. one of their teams for Last of Us. Uncharted you know, Racing, <laughs> PS4. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Racing, yep. Yes. Because yeah, and um, Last of Us, you know, unfortunately got pushed back a month to I think June fourteenth. Uh, but that's only one of Naughty Dog's teams. So the other one is working on something. It's whether it's if it's like Crash it's Bandicoot. <laughs> no, they can't. They don't, they, don't Dude. Have, they don't have the rights to that anymore. I don't think. Well, some they got somebody the nice, Rocksteady had them, and they just went out. They went under a few, I think last year. So it's either somewhere or somebody else has it. So maybe they bought it back. That'd be amazing. They can get, them, get a new mascot after all. There you go. Be their old mascot. Uh, speaking of mascots, uh, I think if we are seeing the PS4, I think we'll see Little Big Planet 3. I think so too, yeah. Media Molecule is dual, due for another uh, game release. It's hard to or say. Something because... very similar, but like, <laughs> I can't. I, I mean, it's still got a brand. It's still a brand, so I can't see them doing anything other than a Little Big Planet 3. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to make two, though. Yeah, well, much back two then, they was great. Into, yeah, two is great, but they said, like Sony was like, we're gonna have someone else do it, so, mm-hmm. but they like didn't even want to do it initially. Uh, evolution, yeah. it, it's evolution. so hard. To, Sorry, it's so hard to even think because I just don't know. It's like the third party developers could be doing a lot, but I just don't know. Like, there's no word of it. Well, like the you know, Warner Brothers saying that the next Batman Arkham game is due in 2013. That's true. Um, I think, you know, there's Evolution, who's the studio behind the Motorstorm series. They've been teasing something. 
Uh, would not be surprising to see Guerrilla Games bring another Killzone installment. Um, gosh, what is else? That's still a thing. Yeah, it's, I thought, it I thought Killzone still... ended in 3. Well, yeah, Sony does like back. the Killzone, so... I would hope a full-fledged, actual Ratchet and Clank game. That that would get me excited. That would be nice. Yeah, but for sure. I don't know what it, I don't know what Insomniac is doing at all, and they had that Ratchet that just came out. That... They're still trying to launch Fuse. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, they had that Ratchet that just came out that was meh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're going to see some new IPs as well. Uh, so that will be really interesting. I don't something know. Big tells me that well, uh, if they're going to go for something, um, they might actually throw in this multi-platform game that Bungie's working on. Oh yes, because I was thinking about it, and yeah, as I was thinking about it, because I'm just like that would be a good way to get you know the attention of the 360 kind of Halo market. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, hey. We have Bungie's new game on our system too, so don't go jumping for the next Xbox just yet. I could see that being a, I could see that being a very important thing. Another thing that all three need to be concerned about is uh, recognizing the indie market. I think too, oh, yeah, because PC gaming and Ouya yeah, and everything, they're going to be competition. And I don't think any of them are ready for it yet. Does well, Sony have actually any indie games on their store? Indie game, uh, not many. So no, Microsoft does, and it's that's a whole drama in itself. But they at least did them. I've never really played much time in the um, PlayStation Store. Mm-hmm. Right. Now they they could do some more, you know, headway into that. But at least Sony has the relationship with Valve, with the cross-platform play on Portal yeah. Two. So I mean that that helps oh, a little bit. Oh God, Half Life Three on PS4. Oh man, oh, launch dude. title. Watch oh, God. Out. <laughs> you, know, would, would a, you know what would be a crazy launch title? Nah. This is like Big Boss Prediction. Last Guardian. Dun, dun. Yeah, that I, I've heard people yeah. say that. You know what would be the thing that would make them win? What's that? Uh, FF7 remake that will never happen because that will Square's dumb. But if they did, no, think about that. If they launched with that, like yeah. everyone would pay millions for that. Like yeah, They wouldn't even care. <laughs> I just imagine them just like, and we've redone the opening in Final Fantasy VII to show it off our PS4 power, but oh, just man. the opening. <laughs> <laughs> um, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it is looking like it will be, you know, the next PlayStation home console. Get hyped for that stream, and we'll see if Sony can live up to those expectations. But please, please, no move. Let, let's stop with the move. It's um, over. Are, you know, stop. The, uh, prot- that prototype controller, it has a move light on it. Damn it. Why? <laughs> well, the mm. camera itself is cool for things, but the move is, yeah, they, they, they've they already quit, dude. <laughs> like, uh, when at Best Buy, yeah. when people like, can I get the, like, Wonder Book? They're like, can I just get the controller separate, maybe? And I'm like, <laughs> you don't even sell those anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's because things that are on the move have been moved to the Nintendo. There you go. Oh, snap. The... That's right, because, you know, they've got that Donkey Kong and Mario Minis are on the move. There you go, because they talked about that in a, the Nintendo Direct. That was on Valentine's Day. And, you know, they talked about many other things, too. Um, you know, First, they started off with the Year of Luigi. Which made me excited. If, if this hasn't yeah. been discussed on the show, I'm a big Luigi fan. Yeah, so. I saw it's like when he showed up in Luigi hat, I'm just like, well, Tony needs a new pair of pants. Yep. <laughs> just like, what are we doing here? And then they they started off with Luigi's Mansion, or didn't they? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they started off with Dark Moon. And, uh, dude, did you see it yet, Super? I saw the entire Nintendo Direct because I was excited for this one. Dude, Cause I... multiplayer Luigi's Mansion. Uh yeah, online. Yeah. So of all like, the games, this... of all the games, me and you have been like <laughs> wanting to play online together. Like the two D Mario games with four people. They're like, let's do Luigi Mansion co op, and I'm like, okay. Not even on Wii U can they get the two D Mario online co op going. <laughs> I know, yeah. but it's like Luigi's Mansion. I mean, I'm happy about it. I think it looks really cool. But I'm like, mm. this one. I. <laughs> this is the one. Okay. This is the one where we can be friends. Yeah, I know. 
and we get to fight over and... green Luigi. <laughs> no, you can have green Luigi. I liked okay. all the colors. I was just kind of sitting back and going, why are they all Luigis? You have four usable Mario Brothers. If you're going to do a co-op mode, why just not why, why just not allow them to have Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi? It's because they all have to oh. go, hoo, ha, he, hey, hoo. Because uh, yes. Mario's uh, Mario too fat to get the vacuum around him. <laughs> I guess. Luigi's too lanky to like, the door. Oh, Maybe you can just piss everyone off and just use Mario, Luigi, and the two Toads. <laughs> yeah. Or just two Luigis and two Toads. <laughs> or... <laughs> Forget that and, uh, Mario guy. They keep Four going. Toads. They, they just say a year Luigi. By the way, there are some visual things in this direct that made me laugh. They were like, but after there are Luigi's Luigi everywhere. everywhere. Luigi's been a side character in most games, like, and they they cut the like him and the covers of boxes. And there's one Mario Party where he was really tiny, and they just <laughs> <spun. Yes. laughs> they laughed so hard. Did you see at the end when uh, Reggie was talking, yeah. and then like Luigi comes on frame, and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh I'm getting out yeah, of here." I'm gonna mention that later, but yeah, that was like. It, it had no context of anything. I'm like, are they doing something with that later? And then I just realized it was Luigi walking like, oh, and leaving. For no reason yeah. at all. And it was hilarious. <laughs> Luigi should like I wanted with that banana. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Luigi should have, you know, just popped up on screen holding a fruit. And just be like, hmm? <laughs> just a banana. <laughs> but, uh, like, when they said, you're Luigi, I didn't know what they were going for. I'm like, Luigi's Mansion? Cool. And then they, uh... It was, uh, they had Luigi's face sleeping and Starlo from uh, Mario Luigi. Uh, yep. And I'm like, okay. I didn't even know who that character was, and I still called that that was going to be that kind of game. Mario Luigi. And, and uh, I, that was the game of the whole conference yep. for me. You too? Yeah, Mario Luigi Team Team. I'm watching that in action. I loved the design on Mario and Luigi, like, so much. And while looking at this, I'm like, oh, crap. I, 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 if anyone follows GG guys, there's a recent comic where it's just like, oh man, it's too bad there's this HD Wind Waker and Smash Brothers coming out for Wii U. I didn't know that. Oh crap, I just bought that, didn't I? And then the next panel, he's already holding the game, the console. He's like, ah, uh, well, <laughs> he swears very loudly. And I'm just kind of like, I'm having that moment right now with the 3DS. So oh, it's like, I'm, it's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not really sure I really want to buy this system. By the way, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, here's all these awesome things about it. Oh, I've already bought it, haven't I? <laughs> I, haven't al- I haven't already bought it because I, was, I, uh, I actually sprung for a HDTV for the first time. Wow. So I finally have an HDTV. Oh, um, my good life. That's right. But uh, I bought that. So... But the next thing is the 3DS, and after that, it's going to be the Wii U. Then I can worry about a new car and <laughs> save for college and all these other things. And a catchphrase. And I actually have made the first steps. I uh, I actually have all the parts on a digital, uh, like a checklist out there, and I've got some rebates going around. But uh, I actually did purchase my uh, the RAM sticks to start off. Oh no! So the eight-year-old, right. nine-year-old computer, whatever it is, won't be a thing anymore. Um, it might not even be a thing anymore next week because it's it's really deteriorating to a point where I think I'm just gonna swap out. I have another contr- computer tower that's actually newer than this one, but I'm not using it because it uses DDR2 RAM, whereas the old one uses DDR1 RAM. Mm, yeah, just DDR RAM. Um, but the new one has only two RAM sticks at 256 megabytes apiece. It's Ugh. only got a it's got half a gig of RAM, while the catchphrase currently uses two gigabytes. Well, enjoy it while it lasts, week. people. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, by next week, I think I'm just gonna swap out the swap out the big old desktop and put my little ITX little computer off the side. It's nice and quiet. It's just going to be less powerful. So yeah, Luigi. <laughs> dude, Luigi. Yes. dude, I, I, dude, it's a, it's an amazing segue because I'm literally talking about the little brother to my computer. <laughs> yeah, that's always been in the shadow. It's dude, Luigi. Uh, me, me and Super have been disappointed with the recent Paper Mario outings, but mm-hmm. these three games, and I know you haven't played the 
third one yet? Or have you played the third one? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I ripped through that game. Dude, it was amazing, the, and I enjoyed those, every minute. Yeah, these have been consistently good, and it's like it looked different, but then I'm like, well, three was different, and it was still really good. Like, yeah. They didn't mess anything up. The battle system still looks more or less the same. Yes, and, uh, and that's all the, the big things, thing. Yeah, all the little things too just looked fantastic. All the Dream World Luigi stuff, like Mario surfing <laughs> on a wave of Luigi's, was probably the most amusing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> also, uh, Luigi's. Also, oh, fans I, I wanna... of... go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I was gonna say fans have uh, pointed out that uh, Wart can totally come back. Perfect opportunity. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. That is. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I wanted to talk about. I've never been much of a fan of the new Super Mario Brothers series, but when they announced new Super Luigi U, I actually got a little excited because I'm just like, that's gonna be. It's when they said DLC, I'm like, oh. And then when they when I realized that they were all crafted to be a single player experience, I was very very keen on learning more about that. You know what Cousin. got me is in all those new Super Mario Bros. games, one player, you cannot play as Luigi. You have to be Mario. Mm -hmm. So they could have made it to where it's just DLC where you play as Luigi, one player. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to pay 20 bucks for but it. All, but all his, <laughs> you know, all his properties would have changed for the novel. It's really interesting that they're doing new levels, you know, crafted around mm -hmm. his new properties. And then this, I'm so excited for that, too. Like, that made me really happy. And then golf, which I don't care, but some people are psyched for, but I'm like, well, that's okay. There's a giant Goomba in that video. I don't know why. Camelot why does good Goomba's, stuff. Why oh. is that Goomba so big? <laughs> because it's um, it's Little Big World. Little Big World. <laughs> it's yeah, Little it's like World. World. It's like it's World, do, do, what is it, five? World four or five? It's do, do, I think it's four. Do, do. Sure it's four. Yes, because sky, sky is five. That was so my yeah, favorite. World four. I don't know, you world say Little world Big world. world, and it's like Little Big Planet. and Yeah, I know yeah. you were trying to do that, but I was uh, doing my damnedest to ignore you. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was wor World 4 and Mario 3. That's what I thought it was. It was in 64 as well, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. Oh yeah, they yeah. had the Little Big World is in 64, because you can be little or big, depending on which mm -hmm. paint you're in. Uh, there's a big world in uh, Mario Bros. U. Like, the more I see of that game, it looks like it did a bunch of old stuff again, but, like, different old stuff that they haven't redid yet, so I'm excited for it still. Yeah. Whenever I do get around to it. And now I'll be like, cool, super hard one-player DLC after this. Mm-hmm. More excited. How much it'll be? That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. If I have a Wii U and I have my new Super Mario Brothers uh, U, which I'm pretty sure I'll end up having for some reason or another. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh... Yeah. They went on to, and a lot of people were crying for this to uh, to give Animal Crossing a release date. Oh yeah, of June 9th, So that's great. Yeah, it's the fourteenth in Europe, so that's pretty good. It's you know, really close by for those. It's, great, I'm, 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 spoiled. I'm losing Nick. I'm sorry. Like we don't get like these Australia dates, do they? <laughs> right. Um, it's probably going to be just the same as the um, Europe one. They're usually pretty close. Oh good. Since it's same pal, so yeah, pal. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> this is not like Brawl, where oh, it totally screwed you over with Brawl. Yeah, we just got a copy of the uh, Japanese one and played that for a while. Yeah, that's true. It's one of the games where language doesn't matter. <laughs> and just like the points don't matter on Hoops Line, is it anyway? <laughs> um, and then at the end, they talked about Donkey Kong Country Returns going to there the 3DS. There was a 3DS. bunch of third-party stuff I don't remember. Well, exactly, you I don't remember. So sad. DKC Returns to the 3DS is, is something I was like, cool! Oh, that means they're not doing land. Yeah. yeah. I was I was really looking forward to a DKC land on the 3DS, because, like, if they have return, they, they, they're not going to have Donkey Kong Land Returns now, and that makes me sad, because I was looking forward to, like, an entirely, like, new experience on the 3DS with the DKC series, right. or the, the return series. But... And now now, now this is this is a pretty final nail in that, in that Rumor of a cut. Rumor. But now, this game will have buttons that work. <laughs> That's true. Because, oh, like, you know, I don't already have a code set that lets me use a classic controller. Well, I don't. So. <laughs> Shake to roll was a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. but, but when, like, that's the only real positive you can think of, there's a lot to, I think, poo poo the game on. 
um, because it's, it's just a, a port of a Wii game that's not even you know almost you know two years old now. It's just a little more than two years old now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's make something with that game. So one of the things that bothered me, other than the whole wag thing, um, was that in the original one, when you rolled and hit something, you then effectively got a fresh roll and you could chain them. Whereas this one, you just rolled, hit something, killed it, and then you stop, stop your roll right in front of another enemy. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard it was designed good, though. I mean, there's little tech things like that, yeah, that I had noticed too, but I didn't get into it enough because of Waggle, pretty much. I'm like, nope, yeah. I'm not doing that. I think I got to the third world, and it got to a point where you know, the waggle was you know, just no good. Um, but yeah, Retro does yeah, good so work. Um, but you know, handing it off to a new studio to just basically recraft the visuals, and it's about it. I don't know. It's not necessarily wrong with that. It's not Retro doing it. It frees them up to do something else. Yeah, Come that's on, exactly. Uh, yeah. Retro... But they better be announcing the retro Wii U project at E3. Like that's got to be their, you know, ace in the hole. That's just got to be there. That's just gotta I, need, be. I need to know what they're doing. I mean, otherwise the Valentine's Day special Nintendo Direct, it was it was good. I think we just got really spoiled by the last one, and some people had really high expectations, and like it was only a few weeks apart. <laughs> Which is like, amazing because I liked this one more. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought yeah, this I, one was good. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. Like all, all of it. Yeah. I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't wait for it. It was just like it's solidly like the, through it. That new 3DS XL deal, the new Wii U bundle comes with a controller. So it's like for those of us out here who haven't gotten a 3DS XL yet or a Wii U, this was just kind of like, hey, hey, I'm going to get that stuff now. Or in the words of Reggie Fizeme, if you don't have a 3DS yet, What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm a... Well, yeah, see, I've always he, been a poor bastard. He, he did say that, yes. Mm. Um, geez. Well, as far as a console that is still uncertain in its future, uh, we do not know much about the next Xbox. Uh, we've had Crowning speculation. The yeah, there you go. We've had some speculation of what it would do with, you know, Connect 2 and. Maybe projecting <sighs> things on walls and other silly <sighs> things. But now we see a resurfacing of a rumor that's, you know, about a year old. That the main thing is, well, you know, it's, they say it's always online, so that could possibly be, you know, DRM. But no <laughs> second-hand games. <sighs> Mick, I don't believe Mick, Mick has sounds, to say it sounds like, like you got to be. It's it's just ridiculous. I mean, aside from the obvious fact that, you know, once you finish a single-player game, unless it's really, really good, you're just stuck with now a coaster. Um, how many times have you guys traded games with friends? Lent them out. It's, you're not going to be able to do that. It's more of that. Yeah, like, my buddy will finish a game that I'll, I would do intend to buy, like, for $40 later, but not having that option is just a huge bummer. That's how I got through the Mario Galaxy series. Mm-hmm. And hell, and the Paper Mario series. Uh, I just find that negative. I think that I, I heard from some, you know, podcast or online show somewhere that there's a possibility of these game companies to be greedy bastards by doing this kind of thing and say, you know, used games, you know, won't really work, but to unlock the used game, you do the whole ten dollar online pass thing that has apparently been so popular in the gaming industry, and that would be a sick money grab. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and sick as in disgusting, not like, uh, sick, brah. I mean, we're, we're talking that. Yeah, man, I get even more money. That's awesome. Dude. It's bitching. <laughs> I, I understand that developers want more money, or not, not necessarily that. They want... Mm-hmm. To make money from their products and used games hurt that. I, I, I get that concern, but they need to look at more of the online like model of how you release like more for less, kind of, where you release a whole game, but there's no packaging or anything, so you get to sell it for less, or making shorter games that don't cost $60. DMC $60, and I think it's cool. I'll get to more to that later, but I wouldn't pay personally $60 for it. That's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like, if the game was $40 or something, yeah, just like I said, if more games were closer to $40, I'd probably get them. 
and they need to be looking around like to making shorter games or something that's not this because it, it's gonna with how things are to where the people are making cheaper games and how the online models work and steam that's what people are gonna go more towards they're not gonna just buy new, more new games because you make them that's not the problem Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the quote from this Edge article, who's reporting this, says, It is believed that games purchased on disc will ship with activation codes and will have no value beyond the initial user. I mean, that's... You want a good way to start on the wrong foot and lose the console race? That, that would, that'd be a way to do it. Then again, it is, is this rumor? Um, we only mentioned on the show for posterity's sake, if it turns out to be true or if it doesn't. Uh, but this this is the word going around the next Xbox right now, and we you know right. assume to hear more at E3. Uh, but some of these things just not ideal. I mean, we had a yeah, PlayStation's um, also got a patent out on the same sort of tech as well. They do have a patent down, but I think a lot of the reports that have you know come around for this this PlayStation Four haven't really mentioned that. Um, it's it's just disturbing Why to would hear. They? It's terrible. Well, oh, sure, but you hear this, you know, about I'd last just be year. Waiting to see how it plays out. If it does work, they might just be like, okay, let's do that. If it works, but it. It's not I mean, gonna... Sony has also got an, a patent to have in-game commercials advertisements. Yeah, they and... they didn't do that. <laughs> That's for a better terrible judgment. idea too. So, uh, I, I'm kind of done with the Microsoft brand unless they come out with some amazing games next gen. So I just kind of read this, and I'm like, well, good luck with that. It <laughs> like, has that not been the said. system to have a variety of exclusive games. I mean, you have Halo and Gears mm-hmm. and Alan Which Wake for a bit. No, I mean, if you if you play it, yeah, absolutely, you know, you get it, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably not going to be sticking with Microsoft into the next generation. I'm pretty much going to be focusing on Nintendo, and if the if this is just a rumor and... They're not even coming even close to that idea. Um, maybe I'll get it. I mean, I'm closer to Microsoft than I am with Sony, and that's probably always going to be a thing. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, right now, I right right now I just kind of look at this and go, I don't want yep. just that. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> yeah, I know. I knew you stopped want. there on purpose. Mm-hmm. You mean uh, you don't want a new Connect that tries to put images on all the walls of the room? I am Connect, not trying that was to the thing too. Won this crap. That was the thing too. Connect comes with it. Like you have to have it, and that was the thing too. Yeah. I'm like, oh, good one. Yeah, it's just like it's like a more reliably responsive Connect. That's kind of cool, I guess. I've seen people ha- enjoy the Connect, and it's like I, I was you know president for the College Gamer Club, and the Connect was like the most popular thing whenever we did events. It's a thing. I don't like the Connect. Uh, I don't like what they're doing with the Connect right now. They can do cool things with it. They're just not doing it yet because it's not responsive enough. Will we see some cool cool stuff in the future? All the cool things I have seen done with Connect have had actually nothing to do with gaming. It's all got to do with motion capture Mm -hmm. or you know testing stuff with surgeons and junk. That's awesome. That's not game relating. But hey, maybe it won't recognize black people again. So there's that. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, Yes. And uh, I like because that happened. I like the whole thing, too, about them giving up on the Blu-ray or, like, trying to compete yeah. with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, wasn't the thing, though, the like, this came out from somebody who was, like, a very reliable person? That like, is. I thought I remember reading, like, this dude yeah, has did stuff before, and he said if he this was wrong, you could delete his account on the forum he posted it on. Yeah. So that's something to consider. Like, the roster yeah. and Brawl, that turned out to be true, too. Yes, yeah. that nightmare roster. It's not dra- bad now. <laughs> Dragoon Prophet. All those things. I mean, we will have to you know, see more as that rumor-filled gossip continues to uh, develop over time. Uh, but this is you know where it's right now Sony's to take with these three months to build up the hype uh, before E3. And we'll see if Microsoft can match it with that conference later down the line. That's actually that's something that's really... Um, important to note, um, we're talking. We talk about rumor-filled gossip on this, and we are approaching probably one of the most important E3s we're going to have in this console generation, as it is introducing the next console generation, at least the, the next two-thirds of it. 
we're going to have a lot of rumors in the next couple of months. Mm, it's going to make for some fun. Very, <laughs> it's fun, very fun shows. Fun shows. What, what's, what is good, though, is we won't have to wait too terribly long on either front. Yeah. Well, that's true, and plus, you know, E3 can't be much worse than it was last year, so... Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, One of these days we need to end an episode on fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Just audio fireworks. That oh. would be an amazing end. Mm-hmm. But it would go away from the da 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 No, no. Maybe, maybe we could just remix them both together. Anyone in the mu- musically talented in this midget community, make a remix of that. Or they'll just put it, you know, at twice the, or the half the speed or whatever. Anyway, the hilarity of the week this week it says on the Kotaku article: a ten-year-old tried using a 3DS to find a girlfriend, and he got a response. About that. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, try to look at this. It's on the Colors 3D app, which they've apparently deleted the post, the old one, but Master Claw 360 has a post that says, I need a girlfriend, and he has on the top screen, it's a, well, we have the article posted in the, the show notes here, but top screen of the 3DS, it's a uh, royal blue background with green... Letters that scrawled, I need a girlfriend. Girls read description. Arrow, arrow, arrow pointing down. Maybe he'll uh, show them his awesome porno story. <laughs> <laughs> Best XXX ever. Mom, don't read. I think that's a different kid. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He, this one seems like Sonic 2, so. <laughs> Master Claw wish... 360 says... I'm 10 years old. I like hockey, basketball, and soccer. I like Sonic, Legend of Zelda, Star Fox, and Mario in 62 pounds. Dot, dot, dot. There's more to it. Oh, there's there's more to it, but... But we, did, we don't have the images because the, the entire thing's been taken down. But yeah, I mean, someone... Girls when I was 10 yet. <laughs> someone replied, uh, no confirmation of whether it's an actual girl or a pedo. Um, 62 pounds, though, really? <laughs> Damn. You gotta give him props for trying. Yeah. I wish you used my Magikarp article instead. Yeah, well, mm. I mean, a gold Magikarp that is level 99 and knows these things, I don't know, you have a, a 10-year-old wanting a girlfriend, which is kind of weird, and then using a 3DS to do it. I feel like Maybe we've done this story. He... Maybe you should ahead. just mention that he knew people who do do, uh, uh, WTF Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sure, that might work. Yeah. There you go. Just name dropping that show for. All oh, of you the know what? It's probably you know this, this Master Claw 360 is probably Chrome Snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ten years old. I like hockey, basketball, and soccer. I like Sonic, Legend, Zelda, Star Fox, and Mario. I'm 62 pounds. <laughs> The person who responded was probably Snapple Wolf. Yo, I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> Come on, go on a date. I got 3DS. I wish those guys <laughs> would the surface. These comedians decide to quit. Okay. We just took it. <laughs> this won't make sense until people hear the Easter egg. Yeah. yeah. We're not the Chrome Snake mm-hmm. stuff. If you're lost on that one, you're way too late for that. It's just a bit. I mean, Mick, thoughts of using... A game console for this fashion, you know, who needs, you know, actual dating sites when you're 10 years old? This is what you got. Yeah, well, it paid off, right? So I'll have to take note of that. Uh, try yeah. and get a 3DS. Ask. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 3DS um, plus colors 3D. And apparently, yeah, we'll the find out how that works for you in 128 days. <laughs> uh, the color, though, you could have picked a better color. My eyes were bleeding from that picture. That's a, a little bit fun. Well, it's definitely getting. Uh, it's definitely. It definitely catches the eye. Uh, then it stabs it a couple times. Hmm. With those three down arrows. Mm. I don't know. It, it's it's some. It's something that's got to be seen to believed. I'm sorry, yeah. you were saying I interrupted you. We've 
I feel like we've done a variation on this story like five yes, times. Yes, we have. That's why I wanted to do Magikarp. <laughs> but it's, it's level totally... 99 shiny Magikarp. That's weird. <laughs> They're just giving it away. But it's in Japan only. It's just... Wait, it's is, just was it gold? It away. Yeah, Isn't that it was like... the shiny. That's like a reference to the St. Anne incident, isn't it? Where James bought the golden Pokemon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I did not get it. And that. it's level 99. Once it levels up, it becomes the Red Gyarados at level 100. Every 100 Magikarp lays another 100 Magikarp. A billion Magikarp. Where would you, where would you put all those? <laughs> Wave of Magikarp. <laughs> God. Anyway, story pool. <laughs> that, that's a thing. So the story pool here. Um, Sony cut ties with Superbot Entertainment. They're the developers who made PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Now they're not out of work. Um, you know, they're still trying to find their next step. They still have most of their staff together. Just their game didn't do as well as you know Sony was hoping, yeah. and so they kind of ended. Amazingly, I'm going to be trying that game out soon. Probably by in the next hour after the show, I'll be trying out PlayStation All Stars for the first time. It's I, not; it's terrible one v one. Yeah, I, I'm curious what yeah. you think of it. We'll have to hear on what are you playing. But uh, uh, there's a whole article on why that game just didn't work on IGN. That's worth a read. But it's already forty bucks. It's not doing well. They their first batch of DLC is coming out, and I think they're probably done. Well, it already did come out. Yeah, yeah. It's got Cat from Gravity Rush and Emmett from Starhawk. Um, I mean, they they left on amicable terms, so best of yeah. luck to whatever they do in the future. I mean, Seth Killian is still there, and it, it kind of sucks to see, you know, he he ditches Capcom for Superbot and that, for that game, and then it's like, oh, parting ways with Sony. Hmm. Well, wish Grant, him, wishing him all the best of luck. I mean, Grant Kirkhope left Rare, and then the company he went to immediately went under too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough when that happens. Also, you had unexpected it's games. Rough, buddy. <laughs> That's rough. <play. laughs> My girlfriend turned to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's an unexpected list of games that popped up in the Steam database, which is through some weird Russian website, but people on NeoGAF kind of dug into it. And this is kind of along the lines of when people were seeing that, hmm, Brutal Legend kind of popped up on this Steam database, and now, you know, Brutal Legend has been announced for pre order on Steam. Most interestingly, uh, some of these games include, you know, Duke Nukem 3D, Fez, um, Cut the Rope, The Witness, which is John Blow's new game, and, oh, you know, just a, a few games called Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, and Halo 3. Um, this is actually kind of interesting as far as timing is concerned, because yeah. Halo 2's PC community... Um, their online is getting shut down by on um, I think Friday or today actually, mm-hmm. or next Friday. So the timing of this is a little bit noticeable, and by a little bit I mean a lot noticeable. I mean, like the Duke 3D has an icon. Halo 3 had a link to a Steam community hub that I'm sure that they might be trying to you know take it down now. But I mean. To kind of give you know, some credence to it, you know, Resident Evil, Re- Resident Evil Res- uh, Revelations. Revelations. That one. Or the Revelations. Revelations. Or... Revelations. Revelations. <laughs> uh-huh. The misspelling. Revelations. That one's also on here, and we know that one's coming to consoles and PC. Um, Fez. Oh, yeah, that'd be really cool to see on PC. And, you know, Phil Fish has said that that game's coming to, you know, different platforms. But. Halo 3 has not even been on PC, period. And to, it, like, if it is true to have Microsoft partner up with Steam like this, uh, very surprising. Right, I just think it'd be, it'd be. I don't see why it would hurt them, though, either. In this sense, when the game's well, I mean, out. It'd be great if, like, they, you know, actually have that happen. Yeah, I hope, I hope it is true. I'm hoping it just means they're giving up on games for Windows Live because that was. Sh- Shockingly bad. Yeah. And if they're working with Steam, heck yes. They also not? have Angry Birds on here. Angry Birds Space and Seasons. Angry Birds and Steam. I. This yeah, is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, Second Life is on here too, and that's that's weird. Oh yeah. Does anybody have Angry Birds yet? Jeez. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because more people need Mutant Mole Mayhem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Currently available for Android. <laughs> 
Actually, you know what the biggest news about having Halo on Steam is going to mean? What's that? Imagine the hats in TF2. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Master God. Master Chief hats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see if these, you know, come true. Uh, check the show notes. Keep an eye on that list. See, you know, what comes out in, you know, the upcoming months. Uh, very interesting to keep an eye on there. Games that are out recently, Fire Emblem Awakening came out on February 4th. And I, I did get Fire Emblem Awakening, it's already actually. Seen. And it's already seeing DLC, too. Yeah, it's got a lot yeah, of no, DLC. That was, yeah, that was something in the Direct as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, amusingly, it's like, and you'll be fight Fire Emblem Legends, Marth, Roy, and Ike, and I'm like, really? You're throwing Roy in there? Roy's our boy. Roy's our boy. That's he right. has Tefire. <laughs> Tefire. <laughs> yo, yo, I know this is, like, completely non-sequitur, almost, but, like, I just watched, like, Mewtwo King completely troll someone with, uh, Roy versus Jigglypuff on Flat Zone 2. <laughs> It was so good. It was a four stock. I have to watch that one. Or not Flat Zone. Take it that was Flat Zone. But that's yeah. Project M. Uh, no, I'm I'm at Flat Zone, not Flat Zone Two. No. Yeah, because really. Oh, you meant Flat Zone as well. <laughs> huh? uh, you mean flat comma zone as well. two. <laughs> have you Have you played it yet, Yoko? I have not played Fire Emblem Awakening yet. I got the digital version, and I really wanted the actual cartridge. But it turns out that Nintendo can't really do anything right when it comes to the supply of this game. I mean, they had problems getting it out to retailers, so you had a Monday launch turn into Friday for some places, uh, which is pretty inexcusable. And now Amazon doesn't have the game. Uh, GameStop's back-ordered. Best Buy, I think, is also back-ordered. Like, most places, like, you're very lucky if you can find one game and one copy of the game at like a local Best Buy or something like that. So I bit the bullet. I don't know, you know, how long it, uh, you know, it would be, uh, you know, sold out and all that. Cause I want to get you know the free DLC and all that. And the community sold me on the game. I mean, with this, this casual mode that, you know, really is trying to introduce players to the series. It's the game is apparently a maze balls. Yeah. I've heard people like to say if you're even if you've even looked at uh, Fire Emblem before and go that that that's kind of interesting that you need to play this game <laughs> you'll like it. Everyone's loving it, and just like with Nino Kuni, how that's apparently a maze balls as well. Um, mm-hmm. We'll get to that soon. Not, and that's another one that's relatively difficult to find. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, Fire Emblem. There, people... there was a theory that uh, Gimpy was, uh, put on his Facebook that was like, you know, it would be much more profitable for Nintendo if they bought it digitally. So maybe this is a thing. They're like, oops, we don't have enough accidentally. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> but it's over a gig digitally. Oh, like it's a big digital game for 3DS sake. And you know, mm-hmm. when the XL comes with a four gig SD card, eh, it's a lot of space. Uh. But yeah, people are loving Fire Emblem Awakening, so have to check that out. Dead Space Three. Uh, Still haven't gotten a try. I've uh, we're bad at these. Uh, I've seen the demo, but there's lots of birds in it apparently. Uh, yeah, that's not mm. fair. It's better with Connect, and then you get money. Oh, 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 a rainbow crested <laughs> Kardashian. It's a black Robin. Uh, I mean, it looked okay. It looks not as scary. Uh. I hear this, my buddy just finished it, and he told me the story's all right. He's like, do you want me to bring it over? I'm in the middle. I'm like, no, I kind of want to see all of it. Uh, He said he just finished it, and he said things made sense from the first and second game, like near the end. And I'm like, that's cool. So I I am excited narratively for uh, this game. Is the co-op gameplay any good? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I I really want to do this game co-op. Cool, because I'm I'm a sucker for co-op games these days. Yeah, but I've heard it's it's good. It's not as scary, which people have been complaining about. But I haven't heard anything like awful or it's, terrible it's, about it. I think it. it's just a natural progression of the series. I think I'd be actually a little bit um, numbed to it if it didn't go action because I'm kind of used to everything they did before. Hmm. I don't know. Not my kind of game. Uh, but I hear pretty good things about it. 
Um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll what are you playing? Eventually. Coming up yeah. in a few weeks, so keeping the ear out for that. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, I did beat. A uh, very good game, actually. Uh, for forty dollars too, we should mention oh, yeah. that. Uh, forty dollars for the you know PlayStation Three with the Vita version as the cross buy promotion. Uh, really, really good game. Um, I, my favorite in the series. They do some weird things like I, I talked about in the last. What are you playing? The uh, loading times are atrocious. Just so so bad. Have you confirmed um, that that's just the Vita version? Or? No, it's it's both versions. Mm. I mean, I, I use the Vita version as a point because it's the digital version. So you'd think. That the loading fast. times would be better. Uh, it's it's about twenty five seconds per load of like you know the main world, or if you go back to the hideout, like any load of a new world section, like it's you're getting loading times. It's just really bad there. They also have a, a story twist. There's like a, a big big twist, I and mean, it feels like you know uh, read the manual was having a uh, a spoiler cast for Sly Four, which I listened to most of, and it was. It was quite good. Really enjoyable to listen if you've played More the about game. Slash four, go listen to that. Yeah, um, but you know they also. I, I totally agree with them that this big story twist felt like it was just for the point of having a story twist, and the, like the character motivations behind it just so stupid and awful, and it felt really contrived and not necessary. Um, if you've played it, you know what I'm referring to. Like it. It sucks. Like it just yeah. sucks. Um, you might shovel on a producer, will they? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if I you know delved any more into it, it would get into spoiler territory. Um, but if you've played the game, you know what it is, and you know that it's 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 not good. <laughs> it is is not very good. Um, <laughs> but the whole game overall, I mean, you have Nolan North voicing two baddies, and that's kind of cool. Although. Sly Cooper falls into the trap where the villains aren't that well developed. And so when you have, you know, they always you know, go back to like, you know, Banjo Kazooie and Gruntilda was so well developed over the you know time that you really hated her by the end of the game. Like, this is so not the case with Sly Cooper antagonists. Then there's the inverse where Metal Gear Solid, they give you their whole life story as they die. <laughs> right. <laughs> Try to cram it all in the last little bit. Um, but yeah, Nolan North is El Jefe, and then the the main antagonist. It's it's something. It's Nolan North. He's he's talented. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk he's here first. <laughs> I'll talk more about that on the next uh, "What Are You Playing" episode, though. Oh, aliens! Tony, what the hell happened to aliens? <laughs> I don't Colonial know. Movies? You know what's uh, funny? I have no basis beyond my logic beyond this, but I knew it was going to be bad because it was published by Sega. Like, I saw oh, that, and I'm like, that's going to be bad. Because <laughs> they haven't made any good, like, they've made the Iron Man games, and they suck. They they make, they make publish all these movie games, and they're bad. And I heard, like, Gearbox. And I heard, like, Ridley Scott Consulted. I'm like, oh, it's going to be bad. And I was right. I don't know how. I, it, it's not the reason it was bad. I heard it was rushed. But well, oh, apparently, yeah, Sega was, um, should know about that, too. <laughs> Gearbox mm-hmm. apparently outsourced development to someone, um, and they basically just threw out the four years of whatever work the Gearbox had done, made mm-hmm. a crappy version, and then yep. Gearbox looked at it and was like, oh, shit, and had to start from scratch. Yep, they did it with a campaign to uh, some company, according to the reports here. Um, yeah, so like they basically were not pleased with the work, and it was getting to the point, because this was you know six years of development. Yeah. And if you know Sega or you know Gearbox pushed this back, like Sega would be threatening legal action, so... Gearbox kind of had to bite the bullet and say, well, well, we did the multiplayer. Um, we know we're going to release a bad game, but it's kind of got to happen. And so now they've indefinitely delayed the Wii U version, which is kind of funny because just with all these things that have been happening for Wii U games that were supposed to release in February, like I'll get to that in my soapbox, mm-hmm. but um, not a good mm-hmm. good period of time here. Uh, but just, I don't know. This seems more like a gift to them. Mm, yeah. If you guys read the EGM review of this game, uh, that's an example of awful gaming journalism at its finest. Uh, it reads like a review of someone who has not played the game, speaking in very vague terms, 
uh, with someone who is a fan of the Alien movies, likely. So maybe it's nostalgia blinding them. Maybe it's getting a little payoff of something, something here. Uh, the IGN good. review I read was pretty much like it has some cool like nostalgic moments like the areas are recreated cool and there's references and they're really cool but the game's just not good. But didn't oh. IGN give it like a 4.5 out of 10 or something like that? Yeah, but it's still not a good score. EGM gave it a 9 out of 10. Oh. Ugh. Bad gaming Funny. journalism at its finest. Yeah. I, um, I'm just saying that the yeah. reviews I read, like that was the only good things I've heard is like the sound effects and the nostalgia and that's it. Game's just not good. And some just reviewers, a shame. Yeah. Mm, that's it's really unfortunate. Angry Joe was particularly disappointed. Go go plug his stuff. Go watch that. Go watch GIFs and YouTube videos of the different glitches. We were talking about it before the show, but there's the one of the like the derpy alien. We retweeted it on our show Mirror News Twitter. But it's like this one of the xenomorphs just like derp walking just right right past uh the the main character and then uh discouraging considering how smart they are in the movies mm-hmm. they don't like a like group or ambush or anything like, just heard. waddling on their hind two legs like that looks mm-hmm. dumb i read a bit on that in Kotaku. apparently that section you lose your weapons and those ones yeah. that are derping around they're apparently blind and explode on contact mm. yeah i just, just I, I read that and oh. It, it, that seems well, for a good idea for a level, b awful execution. Get some animation c, budget. <laughs> yeah, it's like animate them better than that. And what kind of enemy? Like xenomorphs are supposed to be hunters, something like that. You know, the yeah. perfect hunter. Mm. So why the hell would they exist only to explode? Why don't they have a sense of smell? <laughs> they would smell yeah. you. There's also another one out there, a YouTube video where the per- this person's you know looking around in first person as the character, and she's a xenomorph, like kind of rolled back on its back and like it's kind of flailing its limbs in the air. And they edit in the Michigan J Frog, the "Hello, my baby, hello, my honey, hello, my rat right time, mm-hmm. yeah." And it's, oh my goodness! There's another video out as well that um, compares chunks of the demo with the actual game. Mm. And God, the demo looks amazing. Oh yeah, I think it's the, I uh, would the play the demo. It's the Jim Sterling, uh, Jimquisition video. I think that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, he looks at the demo and like you know, plays, uh, that's that is a really good video. It's sad. The demo is better think. than the the Sonic 06 de- demo is more like advanced than the game. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Supposedly I mean, the demo is what Gearbox did before they passed it on to their outsourcing group. It's it's just really unfortunate. All of this and the fact that Fox is even marketing it like the sequel to Aliens. <laughs> so, why did this have to suck? For $60, you can <laughs> experience this game. Uh, brain Age concentra- uh, Concentration ca- Training? I, I can't concentration? Whoa! Oh my God. I can't, I can't oh. talk today. I can't concentrate on the training. Maybe mm-hmm. I need to play Brain Age. Uh-huh. When I'm, when I'm podcasting mm-hmm. here. That's out, but uh, we don't care. <laughs> Just... I mean, Brain Age is cool, but yeah. <laughs> I so, like games. I want to shoot things, okay? There Thank you go. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to get to our soapbox here. Uh, I'll start. A very sad, sad story about... Stupid sad. Stupid sad is right. Of What happened to Rayman Legends? The game was, you know, originally announced you know, right alongside Wii U, and we had a demo of it. And that's you know what was mainly advertised in stores here in America. Mm. Uh, really great demo, and then we you know get the demo on the Wii U, and okay, we can only play it twenty times because that's a really stupid idea. Yeah, we get a date of like well maybe March fifth after it gets you know pushed back into twenty thirteen, and then you know February twenty sixth is the confirmed date. Well. About a week ago or so, we learned that it would be delayed until September. Which, you know, would be understandable if, if the, the game, game needed more fun. yeah, if the game needed more polish and needed a little bit of touch up, but the game is complete. It's more or less gone gold. 
And the suits at Ubisoft have delayed Rayman Legends, which was initially supposed to be a Wii U exclusive, so that they could release it in a multi-platform version simultaneously. I can understand yeah. multi-platform, you know, making that game, you know, eventually come out for, you know, PS3 or Xbox 360 or then next generation of consoles, whatever. When a game is done and you're holding it back for a reason like that... It's just sitting there. It's... Gathering it's dust. Unbelievable. Like, like I, I was talking to you about it. Uh, I have the first game on PS3. Mm-hmm. I would buy the second game on PS3 because... You know, just because I want it next to it on the shelf and, you know, controller wise and just little things like that. But I would not be mad if it was out for six months, like on the Wii U. Oh, like, yeah, because I don't care. Ubisoft has such a great track record with announcing, you know, their other games with, you know, supporting Wii U, right? Uh, if you know Andrew Eisen, who is a YouTuber that he has a very deep baritone voice and he you know, talks to a camera and very well spoken and addresses uh, things with very good satire points. Um, he has a YouTube video that's you know, discussing this whole issue. Uh, very satirical but very well done and talking about how yes, because games are meant for all players and that we you know, everyone is equal or must experience these things equally. And he goes like through all these different you know, with while he's making these kind of points, you know, different Ubisoft games pop up, and it's like PC check, PS3 check, 360 check, Wii U X, yeah, right? like Rainbow much. Six Patriots, uh, Watch Dogs is on there. Although the news today breaks that uh, advertising material promotion stuff have have popped up for Watch Dogs, you know, posters and the like, and it says available for all home consoles. Mm-hmm. Could imply Wii U, and it's looking at a holiday 2013. NES, Super NES, Watch. Genesis, <laughs> Atari. I'll play that. Yeah, all those things. Yeah, I just can't believe they're just like it's done, and they won't even let. Because Nintendo needs this too. They, oh, they're so do Wii U sales are starting to get sluggish. But there's not a game out right now. Everyone who got it launched is happy with it. I'm sure. I'm I'm one. Of, I'm among the few that are just kind of like I want it. But I want something to grab me. I'm waiting for Wind Waker now. Like it's not that I don't want one. It's just like I want something to play for it for a while when it comes out. I mean, the, the, I develop, the developers of this news, they're pissed. Um, they are. Very, the oh, they art- worked their asses off for six months to make yeah, this deadline. Apparently, absolutely. And now it's going to be Moot. pushed back for this reason. Read the article here in the show notes. It's it's a very interesting read. And it's just, it's another kick in the balls when Ubisoft thinks they're going to make it up to Wii U owners by saying, oh, we'll give you a second exclusive demo to pass the time. What, you're, you're probably going to put another play limit on that one too? Hey, uh, make a, put Rayman 3 HD on there for free. Do that. You want to make it up to them? Do that. That still does not do. make it up to them. No, it doesn't, but it would be much more it's in the right <laughs> direction. So stupid. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. No, it's just like a... Rayman 3 is like five. Oh, yeah, Rayman 3 is five dollars right now. Go get it. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous, and it it's, was a down moment for Wii U. For oh, Rayman one. fans, because I mean, I would at least got to play it somehow, I'm sure. It's just like, no, wait longer, because screw you. That's why, pretty much. It's so ironic, because like the couple days before this had happened, I had a pre-order for Rayman Legends. And I just had like, uh, is it really worth the 60 bucks? I mean, I do have Gamefly. might be able to get it through there. So I moved my $5 of my pre-order to Sly Cooper and, you know, got that and paid off and all that good stuff. But a few days later, this happens. And I'm like, well, guess I wasn't going to be needing that pre-order then anyway. Pretty much. It's kind of ironic there. Anyway, that's my my soapbox. Ubisoft. Dick move. Not cool. It's done. Come on. Get it together. Anyway, Tony, your soapbox. Uh, I've seen DMC. Uh, Nate went and bought it because he thought it looked interesting. Uh, I was one of those, and I think you can probably go back to the episode where they announced, like, new Dante where I'm like, this is, why would they do this? And now, like, retrospectively, I'm just kind of like, it's just his hair. <laughs> it's just <laughs> aesthetically, and that's all we do, <laughs> aesthetics. 
and I feel dumb for that. Uh, I watched Angry Joe's review after uh, he played about half of it, and I'm like, I really like this. It's a really fresh take. It's really different. Angry Joe went to, and I don't mean to badmouth him because he's very entertaining. He went on to be like, well, Dante was like this. Uh, Virgil was like this, and he's not anymore. I'm like, yeah, it's a reboot, and they're different. Uh, uh, Dante's a dick, to put it bluntly. Uh, Dante (laughs) in in three, he's like a smart ass. But if you like even watch the anime, he's like a good guy at heart. He just is funny and smart ass about how he goes about things. Uh, This Dante's a dick. Now, (laughs) uh, if you had strong attachment to that, which I kind of thought it was weird at first. I'm like, oh, this is different this is a departure but he is very entertaining in a dick character way if that makes sense i think so So, yeah so i'm like cool this is different me and nate have talked about too that the dante that everyone is like oh you've ruined this character that's been around for like 10 15 years only existed in one game (laughs) if you really think about it (laughs) one has aged terribly if any of you have played it or even not played it recently i played a when they had the Devil May Cry collection, not even the HD collection, the collection, like a th- I got like a three box case of it. I played one. I'm like, this ain't good. I don't like this triangles jump. That's weird. And I still have just, yet to play it as part of my res- resolution for this year. Uh, and two is universally bad. Nobody right. likes two. Right. Uh, I tried it. I'm like, this is okay. And then I'm like, this is easy. And then I was like, this is boring. And I quit and I skipped a three. Two's not even canon as far as that series has gone. Three is amazing. Three is awesome. Four is okay. The the only good game was three. Four is just kind of okay. It's good, but it's. Eh. Um, and now they're like we're just doing something different, and uh, I I appreciate it for it. I find it entertaining for it. It's not the same, but it's good in a different way. You just can't. You just gotta kind of get rid of all that stuff in your head. Like the names are the same, and just kind of like it's not like they they changed Mario. Like, that is iconic, and that is, like, 25 years of stuff. But it's just like, we're going to do this with Dante, and it's like, okay. And they totally troll the hell out of people. Uh, the first shot, one of the first shots is him, like, waking up in his trailer, and the lighting from the window makes his hair look gray. <laughs> which I'm like, <laughs> And uh, later, a wig falls on him. I've seen that clip. That's funny. And that, like... I know people are butthurt. It's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, I, I kind of appreciate them more for it because I find this take interesting and they're just trolling everybody. <laughs> really bad. And, uh, Angry Joe was talking about that scene. He's like, why would you do that? And then he went on to make this point, which I did agree with and I thought was funny. He's like, you're going to tell me in this limbo held demon dimension world that a wig just happened to fly by and just happened to land on your head perfectly in front of a mirror and then I'm like, yeah. It was part of a mop, though. <laughs> oh, was it? I think so, yeah. Yes. There's no mop shot established, so I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. I found it very interesting. There's text that comes up on uh, on the screen a lot when enemies are coming, like crush him, stop him. And then you beat a bunch of them, and it, text comes up, just fuck you, Dante. <laughs> 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 it really made me laugh. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> It, it's very. I, I like it a lot so far. It just. It, it's not the same. You like that? <laughs> Delayed reaction a bit. Him or me? Uh, him. Okay. He's like. He's dead now. <laughs> I, I think so. Uh, I yeah. Hope um, I'm. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? I think a wig's falling over his face. I think. Trying to so. get it off. Uh, but it's yeah, cool. I'm I'm lagged over here, really bad. Oh, okay, that's funny. Uh, have, have I caught up? I'm like, you guys have been like going like hyperspeed over here for the last twenty seconds. Awesome. Oh, that's what you're cool. giggling. Mhm. <laughs> okay. I'm really enjoying it over here. So now you're gonna listen and then you're gonna sound like you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> like, here. <laughs> just giggling at nothing. It was funny. <laughs> uh, well, I was trying to mute my mic and I was playing with it because it's like it stopped responding for a bit. So I didn't know if you could hear me or anything. So Dante. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we're still there. It's good. All right. <laughs> Check it out. Not for sixty dollars. <laughs> I might get it for. 40. It's like twenty missions, and I hear game play falls do show up at like different difficulties. But the normal difficulty looked a lot of fun, so it's neat. Don't hate it because of the hair. There you go. 
Okay, who's now, next? Mick for the the soapbox doesn't have to be game related. Can be you know media, you know yeah, TV. That's right. Movies. Um, let's tell you, you just mentioned then about you know you wouldn't try it for sixty bucks, right? You said something about sixty bucks for mm -hmm. DMC. Yeah. Um, you really got nothing to complain about. Uh, the Australian no, yeah. dollar and US, the Australian dollar and US dollar are roughly parity. We're actually a bit above you now. We're still paying like 100, 110, 120 bucks a game. Jesus. Really? Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of a couple of retailers have started to lower prices a bit. JB Hi-Fi in particular is really good about it. Um, but the only real game retailer we have anymore is EB Games. Other than just, you know, your usual Target, Big W, Kmart, you know. Um, and it's just we're constantly getting screwed price-wise. And we've actually gotten to the point where the government has called on people to come up and explain the price differences between the US and Australian prices, um, not just for things like games or whatever, but also for things like iTunes or whatever. You know, you have your 99-cent songs, we have fifty songs. So apparently Apple and uh, Microsoft had both, you know, they like said, right, we want you to come to um, Parliament, we want you to explain it to our committee, tell us why your prices are different. And they simply replied, no, not doing it. <laughs> and so they've now legally been forced to come in and explain their reasonings for it. Wow. Because it's, it's just shit. We're getting gouged for no reason. I mean, I can understand back when it really started, it was like 92-ish or whatever, when, when the Australian dollar was low, like 50 cents or something. Wow. Um, but prices haven't changed, and the dollar has. So something's got to give. Yeah. It's one of the reasons I love Steam so much is because it, it's equally priced. Like a new game on Steam, that... You know, 50 bucks. That's fine. That's great. I'll easily pay 50 bucks. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. then you get the sales. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moses is being horribly facetious in the chat, and he says, but pal are second-rate humans. It's what you guys deserve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started on why we're stuck with bloody pal. Yeah. You know, we're right around the corner from Japan, even. That's true. Yeah. Now, what, what's the latest on the... The lift of the ban of the mature-rated games in oh, Australia. Oh, God, yes. That, that came through at the start of the year, thank God. Um, <laughs> weirdly enough, everywhere except for Queensland, who they hadn't quite... They still wanted a little more discussion. So everywhere had been unbanned. Really? You know, wow. get R18 rating. Finally, they've realized we're big people. Um, but, yeah, the hilarious thing was that Queensland hadn't passed their thing. So it was illegal to sell, advertise, mention... Uh, in stores, any R R18 plus rated games. Wow. So there was actually JB, Hi uh, JB, uh, EB Games that were saying, you know, people come in, you know, ask to be pre-ordered, and like, no, we can't do anything about it. But if you go half an hour down the road across the border, you can buy it there and bring it back. Wow. Breaking just... the law. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's been like that for a couple of months um, since the start of the year. Um, they've actually just had the legislation pass uh, on Thursday. So that ridiculousness has gotten over with. So we can finally join you guys at the big boys table. Yay. Yay. Uh, I knew when so the, I was going to have you on the show and it's like Australia games. Like I got to ask about that and how that's going. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, God, what is that? Seven? Uh, Whatever nine. the latest one is. Nine. Nine. Yep. Jeez, really? Mm -hmm. um, that's gotten uh, re reclassified, and that's gone through as R18 plus. So we can finally play that, and wish we hadn't. Um, and you're, I'm you're, expect you say to it, "Get over here." <laughs> um, Left for Dead. Um, Valve had said previously that if it got changed, they'd want to re um, submit that. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, though, um, because what they did with Mortal Kombat was they didn't just resubmit it; they submitted it fresh as the uh, collector's edition, game of the year, whatever, that's with all right, the DLC yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. So Valve could easily just do that and release a um, you know, Game of the Year edition that has all the Left 4 Dead 1 maps and stuff that have since released. So Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Well that that's great that's Ooh, great that it's great that you know the right thing has been done. <laughs> totally. Hmm. Was that Mortal Kombat game bad? I thought it was alright. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I actually oh, kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Might have been the DC one I was thinking it was crap. Oh yeah, the DC yeah, one's not very good. Yeah. That's the one, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like the fact that you can co-op in the Mortal Kombat 9. Really? really? Hmm. Yeah. You can get... Uh, there's a 
dual fighter mode and one one person takes control of one guy and the other one takes control of the other one and you swap out and you co op. Interesting. I might also been like not, um, Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a bit like that actually. A lot. Uh I still like uh <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, awkward comparing Donkey Kong to Mortal Kombat. Uh, <laughs> it works. I mean, yeah, I mean it's almost exactly that right. Um something that I was thinking about is the uh I I keep on hearing that Street Fighter Cross Tekken was like not well received or something like that, but yeah. their two v two mode was freaking fun and amazing. And if you haven't tried that and you have the game on hand or have the ability to try the two v two mode, I forget what it's called. Probably something cross over something. Yeah. <laughs> it's something Street Fighter it... Cross Tekken Tag Tournament. Oh, yeah. there you go. John on uh, Grumps I pointed guess. out that he has a friend that like plays a lot of fighters competitively, and he plays like all fighters that come out pretty much. And he said that PlayStation All Stars works really good on two v two, but that's like yeah. it. Which I thought well, was interesting. Have, I believe it. Yeah. We only have two controllers over here, so. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be <laughs> able you to can play, play online. That. Yeah, you can play online. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe, maybe then. Me and uh, I watch Nick and Nate just double. Uh, Nathan Drake and just kick barrels at people online for a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, super, what's your super, uh, soup box? Super box. Soup box. That's what his is from now on, super box. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's chicken noodle. Good. That, sounds, that sounds tasty. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Hopefully no one's sick. Well, I mean, but if you are, I have some nice chicken, chicken noodle soup box. Nobody can talk today. No. Nope. <laughs> My my words have not been good today. I only got contagious. five hours sleep. It's contagious. Talk As if I ever say anything right ever. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I've I've been kind of de- like juggling ideas for my soapbox throughout the entire show. You mean um, soapbox? <laughs> a soapbox. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with the one that most people expect me to go for, which is the stifling of the My Little Pony fighting his magic fan project. That thing, I'm I was really really um, depressed over it for a little while because I had the opportunity to play it, but I was stuck running a front desk at the time, uh, so I never actually got to play it. And when I did finally take the time off to go, they had taken it down and had left the area. Which really sucked, but I'm so I always kind of you know told myself you know what I'll try it later when it comes out etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the whole Evo thing happened, and the first thing that went through my mind was that's not good. Oh yeah. Um, taking... well, speaking of Evo, we got to drop it somewhere. They came out with the yeah. rule list for melee. Oh really? So oh, I didn't know about that. So keep an eye on that. That was just today. Um, it, from an from initial glance, it looks pretty good. That's good. I think they've, they've done their homework. Like, you know, the main five neutral stages are there. Uh, Pokemon Stadium is a counter pick. And then, I'm not sure if this is a current rule, but, like, you have to change the stage, like, every every game. It has to be a different stage. So you can't, like, play the same stage two games in a row. Um, really, that's somewhat similar. Um, I think it was called Dave's Stupid Rule. <laughs> Um, okay. You can't bring someone. I love to a stage how these that things start. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't bring an opponent to a stage that you've already won on. Um, it was a way to say um, it's a best of it's a best of three. So you win the first game on let's say battlefield, you lose on final destination, and you get the counter pick. You can't bring your opponent to back to battlefield for the final match. Um, something like that. So I think it's something similar. It's really going to affect uh, your grand winners finals, losers finals, and grand finals. Right. I think. I don't. I don't think else. that's too bad though. Yeah. Anyway, keep keep an eye on that. So that's that was, you know, really recently. Anyway, back to your ponies. Back to the ponies. Um. Yeah. Uh. Once Evo kind of put, uh, finding his magic up there, and when finding his magic took the lead. I was very, very antsy about that because I'm like, you know, Hasbro has been on a kick of stopping any sort of fan submitted content uh, recently, sending cease and desist letters everywhere. Uh, for, popular for pony specifically, or just pony specifically? Um, in in uh, what pop, way though? The like pop drawing uh, or what? 
from what I heard, uh, the popular abridged series uh, Friendship is Witchcraft got season desisted. <laughs> That's right. An abridged did. series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I hear they might be coming oh, back or doing Link. something else. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, they, look out. I think they've moved their episodes to Blip, which is smart. Yeah. For yeah. their CIS show. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but, you know, very recently, uh, on the 8th, in the U.S., the 8th, it was the already the <laughs> My ninth. My birthday! In, uh, yeah. <laughs> for your birthday, a very popular fan project for My Little Pony got just just stopped. They they just cease and desisted. Got sent pulled to the everything. Factory. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, they've just pulled That's everything shame. from it, and it's a darn shame because um, series creator of Friendship is Magic. Lauren Faust said her favorite thing in the fandom was the fighting is magic. Mm-hmm. Um, and she also tweeted that like, yep. like, like I know, was about to, about about to, to I won't that. steal your thunder. Go for it. Oh no, you already did already. But I mean, you know, go ahead and do it again. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Lauren Faust. After this, Lauren Faust got in touch with the main six uh, and basically said, "You guys need original characters to carry on this kind of thing." And we're not talking like original character ponies. OCs. No, we're talking about real, legitimate, original characters for a fighting game. So, uh, but there's been nothing more about that. So, you know, it she could should just let be, her. Uh, she should yeah. let them use her little little girl line. Little, the Galaxy uh, Girls. Yeah, she should let them use those characters. I was kind of amu- I was kind of amused because that's kind of, that's kind of something I joked about earlier with some of my friends. It's like eh, they'll just use Galaxy Girls. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if that's ever been picked up. So. Yeah, that's a thing too. I wonder if she was still like on the staff, if she could have influenced that in any way. Uh, you know, I really can't say one way or the other, but I would say that no, because this is Hasbro's legal department, and if she if she was on the show, there's not a whole. She lot still would have been. She still could have like been in contact with. Said her. something, I guess. She's, yeah, she not have power necessarily, but uh, did you hear about the documentary stuff as well? What was your take on that? <sighs> the documentary stuff for those who don't know. Um, Due to basically pirates, uh, actual pirates, <laughs> yes, yeah, actual pirates. No. <laughs> uh, no, due to people pirating the documentary, uh, they shut down production and all this other stuff. So, and, and I was, it I, made me laugh to be honest because I looked at that and went, "So, you're surprised that the fandom, based nearly completely on piracy of the isu- of the original show." is pirating your documentary of them. It's a lot of issues where uh, I kind of saw... I I saw, like, the first post was, like, everything this day and age, video-wise, on the internet is pretty much offered for free. You guys cannot be that, like, surprised about it. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter too much because I... I haven't heard, met a single person who said, "Yeah, it was really good." Some a lot of, I've heard a lot of some people say it was all right, and some people kind of go. They some people wish it doesn't exist because, yeah. like, people there's, don't. There's, want it's people a to very wear a, the Brony thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it used to be called BronyCon, and that's what it should have been called. Um, instead, it was reta- retitled Bronies, the unexpected. Uh, like male fan base of My Little Pony, and the documentary in that respect is a horrible thing, uh, from what I've heard. I haven't seen it myself. I should pirate it. <laughs> Just to, to prove a you, point. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, how else am I going to get it? They shut down production. They, they, uh, ponies. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm really sorry if you don't care. <laughs> oh, by yeah, the way, uh, by the way, the I was talking about. I don't know if it was from last show me news, whatever, but. Before the show, my my little my, my pony paper that I might present. Yeah, that that's official. I am presenting it. Fantastic. <laughs> I am really sorry if you don't care. I know how the fan base is. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's honest to God. I know you're in the Equestria Daily. No, but it's become like a show. I was super like yeah about because honestly, it was just fun to go around and be like yeah ponies because it's just funny. Mm-hmm. But it's gone to just the show I kind of I really like. Still, it's not like yeah. that fa- exploding fandom, and it's gotten yeah. Super the, fan, the fan the fandom has slowed down. It's not dying because it's slowed down simply because it's kind of done this. It's everywhere now. Every, there's so many people who are just passive fans, 
it's kind of reached everywhere where it can basically reach. It's getting new fans slowly, but that's because they're aging into it, which instead of instead of aging out of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's everyone's basically calmed down because most people, if you're going to like the show, you already like it. That was a huge pony tangent. <laughs> Yes, it was, but it was kind of my soapbox, which was all about the pony stuff. So did you say soapbox? <laughs> yes, it's my soapbox. This is gonna be the game grump pronunciation soapbox thing now. It's my soapbox. Sax. Okay. Sax box. Grip. So for the thought this week, <laughs> as a as a flawless segue this week, we figured mm. with Valentine's Day it was yesterday. Damn long so. Time. Them Valentines. Uh, so we thought we'd ask, who would be your gaming Valentine or, you know, crush if you existed in that gaming world? I think okay. Mick had an idea for one, even with the, a clip here. Yeah. A clip? Um, basically, I clip. mean, <laughs> well, it's no major surprise that, you know, I'm a major Valve fan. I love Half-Life. I love Portal. Throw it at me. I'll take it. But in a still general sense, um, one of the best written characters was Alex Vance. Um, and just, uh, you know, other than the game character aside, she, the way she's written is as if she was a full person. And she's, what I would say, is, you know, a gaming crush, I suppose. You know, she's attractive. She's smart. She's quick-witted. Um, she's a fan of bad jokes. Hmm. A combine zombie? That's... That's like a... A, a zombine. Right? <laughs> zombine, get it? <laughs> okay. Anyone who actually knows me um, in real life, I'm constantly throwing out bad jokes. Well, there was the fact that she's a fan of him as well. It's like, holy crap, this is awesome. And, yeah. So that'd be mine. Hmm. What are you, Super? Uh, I didn't look at this thought until just now, so I haven't given it well much. Well done. Uh, I'm toning this up right now. I only do that for the clarity because it makes it more funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I can barely you have get to this think thing about this. Yeah, you actually, you with the, to, the, uh, to be fair, I was actually going, probably going to say Alex Vance because she comes to mind very quickly when I think about gaming crushes. Uh, but... I don't know. I, I don't want to do a cop out answer, so come to me last. Uh, Samus. Never mind. <laughs> Apparently, Tony went with a cop out answer. Why? How was that a cop out answer? I don't know because it seems so simple. But it's Samus. Like I like her so much in a way that I like respect her. Not even like a lot of guys will be like, "Oh, I like her because she's polygons on her boobies or whatever." And I'm like, "No, Samus is badass. I like her. I want to get in her brain." Have you guys have you seen the picture of you know like oh you know gamer girls you know so hot right uh, they show like eight bit Samus and yeah. they're like I mean look at that butt and it's like two square pixels that like goes off of you know, were you around when they had Josh Cube on Smashboards uh who Josh Cube I think so oh. yeah. There was the whole drama with this guy who was infatuated with uh, a character from um, the Game Boy Color Zelda game. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. I can't remember what the woman was called, but yeah, he was infatuated with her for some bizarre reason. Was it either he was just weird or one hell of a troll? Which mm. which I'm trying to which, remember which Game Boy Color because I mean you had Din in Seasons, you uh, had Eru. Link's Awakening. Oh, uh, who was that girl that saved him? M, so it's the M, I think. Um, Was it Malin? Marin, Marin, that's it, yeah. Marin, yeah, okay. Isn't that Krillin's daughter? (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Hmm. Yeah, Samus. Where you are, I salute you. I've always had, like, a little crush on Samus. Uh, When they announced other. Is it Zero Suit or just, you know, regular Samus? Samus, the character. Like her, she's cool. Just her. Uh, I've, like, teared up a little bit when other M got announced. Like, the announcement. Mm-hmm. Say what you will about the game, but I was like, oh my god, Samus, I've missed her. Like, it's been since Fusion or something. Mm-hmm. She's just awesome. The baby. I feel like she wouldn't even look at me, but I'd want to talk to her. The baby. <laughs> the baby. Um, Gotta see the baby, Jerry. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
can I be like most characters that Laura Bailey voices? No, because my D, my secondary would be Harley in Arkham City because of Tara. You just be you just be Tara strong voice. Even though she would probably kill me because she's Harley and she's crazy. But. Um, um, but but seriously, Laura Bailey voices. Um, so if that's the case, uh, Risei Kujikawa, Persona Four, just like a lot of the Persona Four characters, or if we're thinking Persona Three, Mitsuru Kurijo. It's tough. It's tough. Them Persona characters, they're. Really well developed. Oh, I didn't even think about Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, he'd probably go for Lightning. So many choices. Lightning's not a bad choice either. Lightning's that cloud nice. chick's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> All those uh, fanboys, like the Advent Children, like, oh, Cloud's a badass. I like to just go back to actual seven and be like, he wore a dress. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. He didn't play the game or know that he was in a dress at one point. Major yeah. Boza says Noel Vermillion from Blaze Blue. That's a pretty. Oh, good she is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Ooh, Cammy's think, really cool too. Yeah, Cammy. Uh, I, I yep. think uh, Shina, Fu- Shina Fujibayashi. I think I said that right. Uh, from Tales of Symphonia. She has a character arc towards the end of the game. You have to unlock it, and it's actually kind of hard to get around, get to, but it's really cool. Um and. She was, she's actually one of the most well thought out and well done characters in the game. Mm-hmm. And her ex- interactions with with almost in and all of the cast is actually pretty fun. So don't want to you don't want to date Peach though. Uh, she's just gonna get kidnapped. Yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, I'd like to have a girl who would stick her, you know stay around. Mm-hmm. But she can take her clothes off when she's in two D form and go in the shower. And- la 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 la. Yes. Um, but that that's a crush for a computer. Mm-hmm. Still, still watching her maybe to this day in the games for all we know. <laughs> oh, He's dear. up there still. <laughs> I'm just getting flashbacks to that old Simpsons episode from Treehouse of Horror. <laughs> oh, yeah. Along with uh, Pierce Brosnan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let us know who your gaming valentines or crushes are in the comments there. Uh, interesting discussion. I know, you know Valentine's Day passed and all, but it is worth, worth a shot there. And with that, we're, we're pretty much coming up on an hour and a half here. Uh, mm-hmm. That's pretty much all we have to cover. Mick, thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, we'll no have to Thanks for having me back. have to do that more often than <laughs> in a few years. <laughs> Every 128th yeah. episode. But I mean, we, we just we just had to, you know, that had to be done. Yeah. That's why you, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll be back at episode one thousand three hundred and eighty. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm be like... Next time the episode number equals eleven. I hope we're off to better things by that long. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like a midlife crisis. I'm if I'm still continuing this show by then. Well, we like might be dead. I don't. I haven't done the math, but we might be dead by then. <laughs> for all I know. Jeez. Well, again, it was great to have you on, and we'll have to catch up, you know, some more soon. Ah, uh, definitely. All right, and with that, we are all set with this episode of Show Me Your News. With that, I'm Yoko. I'm Super. I'm Tony. I'm Mick. And we're out. Have a good one. You need to tell me about this WTF Pokemon story. Uh, I do. But, uh... <laughs> well, I guess now's as good a time as any. Sure. So, you know, uh... I just happened to be... I was talking to a girl, and we were hitting it off fairly well. And this you, and... you never met before? No. Uh, we were hitting it off fairly well, and... You know, she starts talking. We start, you know, talking about games and stuff like that. She's and uh, she says like, "What's your favorite Pokemon?" And I'm like, "Oh, uh, it's like Leafeon or Glaceon." 
It's like, oh, I'm not the, I'm not that far. I'm only like the one first one fifty. I'm like, of course. So I'm just like, well, probably Evie then. And she's like, Snorlax. And then she starts giving out all these reasons why she likes Snorlax. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense with Tantas of the games. She's talking strictly out of the anime. Mm. And I'm just kind of like, oh, she's an anime. She liked the anime. Okay, well, you know, you should look up this thing called WTFP. And she just kind of gives me this look. And I'm like, what? And she's just like, I already know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Really? She's just like I, I, I yes. <laughs> I'm just like oh really. I was very impressed, and she was completely and utterly embarrassed about it. She's what? like I'm 22 years. Old. She's like I'm 22 years old. I shouldn't like be looking into the anime thing still. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> you have no idea. What about the people who make it who are older than that? I don't. Well, you guys don't really see <laughs> on this show. Was she cute? She, yeah. Yes. I can, send you text, I can send you a text message before. Yeah, go for it. I don't care. Actually, I'm uh, pretty curious. What did I miss? Oh, uh, it's just a thing worry. about how a girl super was trying to hit it off with knew what WTFP was and how these kind of things happen to everyone else but Mark and I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And don't send me the dirty pics. I mean, what? <laughs> send me those. Uh, <laughs> I wish you would run into girls that knew what the hell my Sprite comic was. <laughs> That'd be even funnier. And also, I wouldn't even want to talk to those girls. Did you at least name like drop that you know the person who makes that show? Or the people oh, who yeah, make that totally. show? <laughs> and? I totally did. I have her number, don't I? Well, and... Which even I want to know details, man. You're being, you're being skimpy here. Cause I, I no, he does this. He's a dick. Mm-hmm. All right, right, right now, did, I'm just wait, What was her reaction? Thing. What was her reaction when you said that you knew them? Huh? She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I, I'm like, I know the guy. I shook his hand, and all the things. Like, we're kind of good friends. Kind of good friends. <laughs> kind <He's> of like, <laughs> friends. <laughs> Well, you know how I talk. Are you just doing this for the money, Super? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the money that we don't money. get? <laughs> He's waiting. Yes. He's getting the chick splash over. There you go. Sorry, I'm like doing like three different things at once right now. So, like, my attention is everywhere. Because we haven't entirely been focused the last 40 minutes. It's like, no, I know the guy. He's kind of a douche. Uh... <laughs> It's like, we're pretty good friends, I would think. I Dude, mean, the... he's, he keeps getting on my back about things. Like, <laughs> not, not, not being good about, like, telling him stuff. You know, we talk pretty much every week. It's no big deal. <laughs> I wish you, I, mean, I yeah. wish you, if I were you, if you were gonna fuck with him, I would have just been like, yeah, they're the same guy. <laughs> 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 People think that anyway. <laughs> he disguises his voice that well. <laughs> not that well. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I hadn't met you guys in the same room, I could. If you, t- if somebody told me that, I'd be like, "Hey, that makes sense." <laughs> she was pretty. Or cute. have I seen you in the same? I haven't seen you touch. It could be a bunch of mirrors, and I'm not sure still. I like how it just says "girl." <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just labeled it "girl." Yep. Does she have a name? It's girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it oh, Emily? Yeah. No. If it's Emily... <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Amazingly, her last name is Bruno. <laughs> oh, gee. Master you... Bruno, showing you the lightning speed! That's awesome. If someone, like, and then their last name was, like, Lance and Agatha. <laughs> I need to get these people together. I come... Uh-huh. Got Actually, the there, 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 is a, there is a woman around here who's in theater named Agatha Lance. What? No, there's not. Wow. No, there's not. Yes, there is. That's like saying if there's someone named like Lorelai Prima. No, Agatha's a name. Lance is kind of common around here. Huh. Things can happen. I was just really surprised that she still went. Well, she didn't actually go by Agatha. She went by Aggie, but. Well, you can tell this girl that I say hi. 
And that okay. Sword Hunter says hi too. No, because we are different people. Further than that. <laughs> take it a step <laughs> further than that, and like have have them leave a message on her phone or something, dude. He will give you the hookup because <laughs> you've shook, shook his hand, and that's as close as you've gotten. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, I'll tell her to like throw you a Twitter comment or something, so you can do it on the show. Because you guys still do that, right? Well, for the movies, I guess not really. I'm putting this, the free, like... dude. I'm putting this as the Easter egg, okay? Like at the <laughs> very least, like get her to listen to this. <laughs> She'll probably be all pissed because I'm just like, you told them. You haven't even heard you were girl? Just shit. <laughs> I know, right? Most people do. And they're gonna be like, that doesn't sound like him. I only recognize it when he's doing stupid Pokemon sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Doing a episode. <laughs> Super, if you told me that you were a figment of my imagination that just make me question everything I do and fuck with me, I'd I'd probably buy that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Well, Girl, wherever you are, thank you for watching.